Good morning and welcome to webinar eight in the Kepware 2020 webinar series. Today's webinar is about monitoring an OT network from on the shop floor using the Kep server software. So here's the agenda for today. A little bit about OT networks and comparing a, a monitored network against an unmonitored network. A little bit about the SNMP protocol and, and then some technical details about the SNMP driver and how it uses the SNMP protocol to monitor the OT network devices. The audience for this webinar is automation engineers who are looking after an infrastructure which includes Ethernet networks, which is pretty much all shop floor networks these days. Um, IT engineers who might be involved with doing a bit of this as well from an IT perspective. Project engineers who might be working for systems integration companies who are designing solutions which involve Ethernet. And people who are uh, production managers who are looking to uh, take steps to optimize the efficiency and reduce, reduce time time because this is all about reducing downtime by monitoring the network efficiently. So here's a little bit about OT network infrastructures for those people who are not uh, totally au okay fait with them. Um, your typical OT network will consist of switches and firewalls and UPSs and also the PLC comms cards and PLC comms ports themselves. Um, often, on the shop floor, the critical items are con uh, considered to be the PLCs, the data servers, the HMIs, uh, and the SCADA, and the network devices are often overlooked. Um, so we'll come on to the implications of that in a little while. Often people don't realize, especially IT guys don't realize, that data traffic on an OT network is not the same as data traffic on an IT network. If you've ever monitored a network on an OT, a data traffic on an OT network, you'll, you'll see you have a very large number of sessions. Each session is carrying a relatively small amount of data compared with an IT uh, type of IT traffic. And there's also a lot of peer-to-peer -peer traffic between devices. The most critical things, however, are the, are the behavior of the network. Uh, the response is, is real time, needs to be in milliseconds and the, Response time must also be consistent and repeatable. Uh, having a, a network on the shop floor which suffers from jitter um, is, is not good. It often can be uh, quite severe implications of that. And if the network does go down or the devices do drop off the network, the actual implications in terms of costs can be very, very severe. So let's compare a monitored network with an unmonitored network. So here we have an unmonitored network. You have the SCADA and visualization type systems at the top. You have KEP server sitting in the middle. You have the NIC card of KEP server. Below that, you have the NIC card connected into the Ethernet network. And then below that, you have the plant control components, the PLCs and drives and other devices connected into that network. So you can see on the right hand side, the data is flowing from the PLC components down on the shop floor up into KIP server and then being fed up to the, uh, the visualization layer. But the data about the Ethernet network is not being fed in. So you're relying upon a, a constant stream of data across the network. But if the data stops, if you suddenly stop seeing data in the, the SCADA screens at the top of the HMI or the the recipe system, you know, where in the comms chain has the data stopped? Um, if you're responsible for looking at that and trying to figure out where uh, the data has stopped, you've got a bit of a challenge on your hand if one layer actually isn't being monitored. Has the data stopped down on the PLC? Has it stopped on the network? Is it something that stopped in KIP server or, or is it something, a behavior inside your HMI? If you compare that with a network which is which is being monitored, you have data from the PLCs going up to KEP server, but you also have data about the network components also going into KEP server. So you have a chain of data going up into your visualization layer, your SCADA, your your uh, your uh, MES systems, or any 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 system that's sitting above. 
Kip server, which also includes the behavior of the network components. So if something happens on the network and a particular device has a problem, you will see visibility of that in the same way you receive visibility of data coming from the PLCs, which are hanging off the Ethernet network. So we've been talking about network monitoring. So the next slide or so is uh, related to the SNMP protocol, a little bit about that protocol. So what is the SNMP protocol? It's a protocol which is monitoring devices at the network layer. So SNMP is an open protocol. It's an international it's not protocol. It's not owned by any manufacturer. And it's adopted very widely. Pretty much all network devices you'll find will support SNMP. Uh, Windows PCs would, network switches, PLC cards, HMI panels, pretty much anything that has an Ethernet port on the front will support SNMP. And SNMP allows you to manage the network performance. It's see, it can allow visibility of what's happening on your network, monitoring individual device behaviors. And if network problems arise, it allows you to identify them and resolve them pretty quickly. So splitting the SNMP protocol down into its two main component parts, you have two parts to it, one which is called the OID, which is the object ID. And this is a, uh, an object structure, a, lit a little bit like a folder structure on a computer. Now, the MIB file is a file that's created by the device manufacturer, the network device manufacturer. And the MIB file specifies which parameters are available from that specific model of device and the structure of the OID, which is to be used in order to get those parameters from that device when you communicate to it. So all manufacturers of devices have this MIB file available. All you need to do is, is download it from the manufacturer and use it. So how does KEP server interface with the, uh, the SNMP protocol? So if you need or want KEP server to monitor your network traffic on the shop floor, all you need to do is download the MIB file from the manufacturer, point, it, uh, point the KEP server software towards the MIB file and specify the IP, device, IP address of that device on your network. And KEP server will configure all the OIDs that are inside that MIB file as tags in OPC. So once you've done that, all of the values about those parameters from those devices will then be available inside KEP server, like any other value would be, so value from the PLC or such like. So any of the supported interfaces by KEP server, that could be OPC UA, OPC DA, REST and IoT protocols or the data logger or any of the plugins can then be used with that data. So it becomes uh, another driver, just like a PLC driver would be. In, in your project. A few things about uh, the SNMP driver. Um, it supports SNMP device discovery, so you can actually use it to discover devices on your network. As I mentioned, it, in, it supports S, uh, M, a MIB file import and automatic tag generation. So that's very, very simple to do. You can get the MIB file and create a, a channel and create a de device inside the KEP server in, literally in a minute. It's very, very quick. It supports all the SNMP versions. And it also supports a thing called traps, whereby a device can actually send out a, a proactive call for help from the device up to KEP server. So that's all useful as well if your device supports traps and KEP server can ingest those traps and, and uh, take those up into the OPC environment. So we've covered a, bit of, a little bit about the OT network, an unmonitored network versus a monitored network. A little bit about the SNMP protocol and a little bit about the SNMP driver. So my name is Dave Hammond from Mac Solutions. Um, I'm the product manager for the Kepway product. Um, not only do we sell Kep Server, we're the UK technical reseller for Kep Server and have been since 2001, but we also sell two other OPC softwares, one from a company called Cogent, another one called from a company called Inray called OPC Router. Um, and they, these will be the subject of uh, webinar number 11. So thank you very much for attending this webinar today and I hope that everyone stays safe and well. Thank you.